Uh, how long have you been in Syria? 39 years. 38 years. 35 years. 34 years. And what does Syria mean to you? Well, it's been a wonderful place to work for those 35 years. I've had so many excellent opportunities. Um, because of CELOP, I've been able to go to Japan many times. I've been able to live and teach in London. I've been able to go to Argentina. And uh, I've seen a lot of the world. And it's just a wonderful place to work because every semester, CELOP collects interesting young people from all over the world for me to teach. Well, CELOP has been the biggest part of my professional life. Um, I've worked at several other places, but certainly here the longest. I feel that I've really helped make CELOP what it is today, and I've had wonderful relationships with students and teachers and other people I've worked with. I've met a lot of students over the years, a lot. And it's always interesting. Um, I always enjoy meeting new people. I learn about other countries. And it's a job that's never the same. I try to do different things each semester. It sort of means my life. I mean, I, other than, I mean, most important in my life is my family. But after my family, this is my other family because I've been here for so long and I've known I moved to Boston, my husband and I moved to Boston, and we didn't know anybody, and I got a job probably after one month, so I've made many of my friends through CELOP, and I still have friends who aren't here anymore, but whom I met here. Uh, what are one or two of your favorite memories from your time here at CELOP? Oh, so many memories. I guess my favorite some of my favorite memories are different classes and different students I worked with and making people excited about learning English and taking them on trips and showing them Boston and learning about different cultures and different parts of the world. Some of the favorite moments are when students from uh, former students write or email and they tell me how much the English course here meant to them. For example, until uh, there were a lot of Saudi students at, at Zila, I didn't know very much about Islam. And so over the last 10 years or so, my students have been teaching me a lot about Islam and it's been very interesting because it's very hard to just learn about a religion from books. It's much more interesting to learn about a religion as it is experienced by the believers. And so I've really enjoyed learning about Islam from my Saudi students and from other Islamic students as well. It's not one memory, it was an experience. Um, when the Harry Potter books came out, when the first one came out and there was no movie, and my son was 10 or 11 at the time, and he read it and he said to me, Mama, you have to read this book. I was like, oh, I really don't like fantasy very much, but I'll read it. And then I loved it. And I thought this would be a perfect book to read with a class. And so the first group that I did the whole Harry Potter book with, the movie came out at the end of that semester and we all went to the movie together and everybody was really excited and people were yelling no that's not right that's not the way it is in the book and it was it was really gratifying to see the students so excited about about a book that is really magical for reading it's it gets so many people to read who don't want to read. and another was is well pretty much any time that I can have my students over to my house for a party is a, is a good time because everybody knows each other and is relaxed. And Uh, how have you seen CELOP evolve from when oh. you were starting? Well, it's become much, much larger. We work a lot more with the university, um, programs that we do in conjunction with the university, and we also have a lot of sponsored programs from, from overseas. Well, it evolves in many different ways. It's bigger now than it used to be, but it evolves also as the world evolves. 
because, you know, right now, almost half of our students are Arabic. But years ago, some years ago, most of our students were Korean. And then before that, most of our students were Japanese. And then before that, most of our students were from Venezuela and Colombia and Mexico. You know, and so how the world economy goes strongly influences what happens at CELOV. And so the character of the students is constantly changing depending upon what's happening in the whole world. It was, it was a very old building with bad temperature control, hot in the summer and cold in the winter, sometimes hot in the winter. Sometimes the walls were so thin that you couldn't hear the you couldn't hear your own class, you heard the class beside you. Um, our working conditions are so much better. We're treated so much better than we were when I first started. Um, but, and then there's technology, of course. You know, technology is so much more powerful. But something that I often think about is, even though the conditions were so much harder 39 years ago, people still learned English with a blackboard and a little tape recorder. They still learned English. It's the, it's, it's the best place in Boston to teach English as a second language, not just for the teachers. It is better for the teachers. We, we, it's harder to get a job here than it is anywhere else. Um, but the people I work with, you, if I go to other people's classes to see what they're doing, they're always doing exciting things. Um, nobody stands in front of the room and just says, okay, do exercise 12, do exercise 13. People have activities that I've never seen before and that gives us the desire to come up with new things ourselves. Um, because I like the work, because there are good students, I work with wonderful people that I have strong relationships with. Um, I like being a teacher because I like working with people. Um, it gave me a chance to work on lots of different kinds of projects, to learn something every single semester. And I also like the vacations very much. Teachers have a lot of vacation time. So I've been able to travel. And sometimes I've also had the opportunity to travel and work as part of my, my job here. Because I love the students. I love the people that I work with. And I love the academic hours. Thank you for all you've meant in my life. And I wish CELOP success for many, many years into the future. Yeah, happy 40th, CELOP. It's, it's been a wild ride, and I'll probably be here for your 50th, too. I think that what you're doing now is exactly what I love seeing at CELOP. Um, taking part in this kind of project, is it for the CELOP Sun? and um, working together, people from different countries working together to complete a project. Yeah, it's kind of amazing that, uh, that CELOP's been around for 40 years. I think we're one of the oldest intensive language programs in the country. And um, I'm really glad we've been around for 40 years and I hope we're around for another 40 years. <laughs>